Hi, I'm Zale, and today we're going to talk about Foundry VTT modules. Uh, with Foundry version 10 on the horizon, I thought I would do my best to provide a short guide for module best practices. Uh, we'll begin with a short guide on how to install a module. Uh, we will install the module Find the Culprit, as it will be important later. You can, you can install a module by navigating to your add-on modules uh, in your setup screen on Foundry VTT. Uh, you can see I use quite a few modules, um, but we're going to go ahead and install one. You click install module, and then since we know what we're installing, we can search find and scroll through the list, and we're looking for, well, we'll, uh, we'll get this down, find the culprit, a module debugging helper. You can see why this might be important later. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install that. You'll, um, you may get a compatibility warning, uh, and then you know it'll notify you that it was installed successfully. Um, then we're going to go ahead and launch our world. I've already gone through the trouble of logging in so that I don't have to worry about it uh, doing it on screen in front of everyone. And we'll get to our main foundry screen for my server. Um, you can see I, we use the Pathfinder system, and so you can see it actually warns you about modules that might cause compatibility issues the second that you log in or when you refresh, so that you know what potentially might be causing a problem. Um, but once you're in, you have your module installed, you need to turn it on. So you're going to go to Manage Modules, and you're going to scroll down to find your module, in this case, find the culprit and you can see that it's already turned on. We're actually going to turn that off. Save module settings, you'll get a reload. In your case, you would want to turn it on um, for a new module, uh, but find the culprit itself isn't something that actually needs to stay on. Um, but now that you know how to install add-ons, uh, let's go ahead and discuss best practices. Um, first, you need to know your limits. Uh, if you are not patient, if you are unwilling to do some rather tedious troubleshooting, or you're not proficient with some JavaScript or use of the console, then using a large quantity of add-ons is probably not for you. Uh, however, if none of that daunts you, then here's some tips. Uh, whether you're a new user that's installing add-ons for the first time, or you're a seasoned veteran and you're updating to the new version of Foundry, um, this is going to simplify your workflow a lot. Um, if you are updating to the new version of Foundry, then I do recommend that you turn off all of your add-ons before updating. Um, and then that will sort of put you on the same page for the rest of what I'm about to say. So, um, so now that we're all on the same page, let's get to installing add-ons. Um, first, don't install a hundred add-ons at once and, ex and just expand you know firing up your foundry for it to perform with no issues that's that's just not gonna happen that's not the world we live in um, in fact just don't install a hundred add-ons at once period that's just a bad idea um, to make things really simple and really easy you want to install a few add-ons at a time uh, maybe you know one to three maybe five at the most okay once you've installed a few add-ons then you want to test all of the functions uh, that the add-on performs or places where it makes changes. Um, for instance, if you were using something like Bar Brawl, you might want to, you know, check and test, you know, do some damage to your tokens, make sure your custom bars update, so on and so forth. Um, once you have, you know, determined that there are no bugs, then uh, you want to go ahead and go into your uh, configure settings and then your module settings and you want to set up the configuration for uh, for your module um, a lot of modules have very in-depth uh, configurations that can dramatically alter how they work and so if you don't uh, if you don't take a run through that menu it might not work how you wanted it to work just because your settings are wrong. So, you know, be sure to get in the configuration menu, give everything a good test, and then once you've determined there's no bugs, uh, 
then you can start, you know, you can repeat the process. You know, install a few add-ons, check the configuration, set it up to your liking, and then check for bugs. Uh, if at any point you do press a bug, it's really easy. You can press F12 and you can look for bugs. So for instance, I've got one right here. Uh, it is something to do with the compendium, right? This doesn't tell me a ton, but it does tell me that something uh, in my modules that's loading a compendium is having a problem. And so I can take a look and try and figure out what that is. Uh, there are no bugs right off the jump here, so it doesn't seem like it's a serious problem, and sometimes that is fine. Sometimes it might present in the console, but you're not it's not actually affecting gameplay. Um, you know, just be aware that it could down the road and sort of stay on top of it. Um, if you can't find, if you're having a problem and you can't figure out what the problem is, um, that's why we got uh, Find the Culprit. You turn it on and follow the, the prompts. It'll help you isolate the module causing the problem and then you can disable it. And pretty much that is it in a nutshell. You know, just don't don't install a ton of add-ons at once. Go slow. You know, constant checks. And then if you do find something, you know, find the culprit. And if you can't, I, I have encountered this problem myself. If you can't find it with find the culprit, then your best bet is going to be to fire up a completely fresh server and start turning things on a few at a time until you encounter that problem. And then, once you encounter it, turn the last few things that you turned on back off, see if it goes away, and then start turning other things on. Eventually, you can isolate the problem that way, it just takes a long time. That's why I said, you know, if you're not patient, this can be a problem. You, you need a lot of patience to run a lot of modules. Um, but running through everything again, sort of, uh, go slow a few things at once never more than you know three four five add-ons at a time in terms of just installing a bunch at once um, check your configuration settings check your console and know your limits don't try to install more than what you need uh, I hope that you have found this little tutorial helpful uh, if you have you know do all the stuff that YouTube wants you to do like subscribe blah 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 um and check back for more content uh, have a good one and if you're gaming may all your loots be really awesome <laughs>